To start off the episode, we face Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. Uh, for the last couple of years, as an Arsenal supporter, I hate that this is actually a thing, but Palace have managed to get a point or even three points against us at home. So, you know, at least it works in my favor in this career mode, maybe. 20 minutes into the match, Yedlin brings it to Kamarasa, who finds Milivojevic, threads it to Ayu, Ayu takes a shot, and unluckily enough, it hits the post. Moments later, Zaha on the edge of the box now, gets past one defender, passes it to Milivojevic, takes this shot, and it just barely misses. We go into the 65th minute now, way into the second half. Pepe on the ball brings it to Maitland-Niles, to Genduzzi. Genduzzi trying to find someone, he passes it to Jack Grealish, to Maitland-Niles who takes the shot. It's saved by the keeper, and now Palace have the chance to counter-attack here. Townsend to Meyer, Meyer with the through ball to Wilfred Zaha who can run right past everyone and he has the chance to score here and he does it. It's 1-0 off the counter attack for Crystal Palace and just like the real life stat itself, Crystal Palace go on again to earn more points against Arsenal at home. 1-0 loss to Wolves in the cup. Another look at the table as it is the end of October now. We have dropped off a little bit just by two positions which I mean it's still fine. We're still very much much higher mid-table level and that's exactly where we want to be but so far we've won four games drawn two and lost four so pretty good start for us so far next up was Leicester City overall this match was very very defensive there wasn't really a chance until the 65th minute here Zaha whips in across to Townsend and it's headed out by Ricardo Pereira so now Palace have the corner here, it's whipped in by Milivojevic, and who's on the end of it? It's Mamadou Sakho, a very rare goal scorer, but it's 1-0 to Crystal Palace against Leicester City, who are currently 4th in the league right now. But it would end up being the only goal of the game, so another 3 points against a pretty good top tier side. And with two very very difficult matches, we have once again another very difficult match, this one being even more difficult, as it is Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Early into the match though, a chance for Crystal Palace already, Meyer to Milivojevic, passing it to McCarthy, McCarthy sees Ayu by himself, leaves it for Max Meyer, and Max Meyer once again showing that he can score against even the top six sides. He scored against City and now he scored against Chelsea. 40 minutes now, a chance for Crystal Palace once again, a counter attack, and it seemed like we kind of dominated Chelsea throughout this match. Max Meyer tries again and it wasn't as successful. Early into the second half here, Crystal Palace with a chance. Psych, it's actually for Chelsea. Pulisic intercepting the ball from one of our defenders, brings it to Volan, to Vasquez. Vasquez leaving it for Pulisic and that is a blast into the back of the net, and that means it is one all now. We were still not done though, because we just kept trying to find something here. Yedlin to Ayu, Ayu running, passing it to Max Meyer. Meyer trying to see if he can find anyone. It's Wilfred Zaha on the edge of the box. Zaha to take the shot. It's saved by the keeper, but what's this? It's a penalty, once again. It's the fifth or sixth penalty of the season and Milivojevic to bury this one he does the keeper doesn't even move and just like that the match winner by none other than Luka Milivojevic and another solid three points against a very solid team <laughs> but you you thought this run of games where we just have to face literally everyone in the top six is gonna end no because next up we have Liverpool but unlike the Chelsea match Liverpool dominated a lot Roberto Firmino entering the box he tries to pass it to someone it's to our defender but yeah some terrible play by me and we get lucky there 10 minutes into the match Fabinho to Roberto Firmino and once again another great save by Guaita but there was a following corner after that Mo Salah whips it in it's not the greatest corner but it's not the greatest clearance either so Roberto Firmino gets it back to Mo Salah Salah trying to see if there's anyone in the center decides to bring it to wine out and back to Mo Salah and another great save by Guaita. And once again, Liverpool just adding more and more pressure to this Crystal Palace defense here. Fabinho takes the shot. Another great save. 34 minutes played now. Finally, Crystal Palace get it out of their own half here, basically. Meyer to Townsend. Ayu through ball to Wilfred Zaha, who has definitely beaten Alexander Arnold, and he's gonna put it in the back of the net. Once again, off the counter attack, we're defeating clubs, and that's another three points. It is a solid run we have here and we weren't even supposed to get this many points in this run. 
So next up, it finally kind of, you know, eases a little bit. We face Burnley. Very early into the match, we had a chance. Yedlin to Townsend to Naya Kirby to Ayu. Ayu sees Zaha literally all by himself, no one around him. And Zaha is just going to curl it right past Nick Pope. And it's 1-0 to Crystal Palace, just like that. Into the second half, way later into the second half, Kamarasa sees Townsend on the wing. Townsend decides not to cross it, brings it back to Kamarasa, who crosses it in for Ayu, and Ayu gets his goal. Next up, Bournemouth. Two minutes into the match, not a very good start for us whatsoever. Jordan Ibe, all by himself, has some room, takes the shot, it's saved by our new keeper, Farinez, who's playing this time. 10 minutes into the match now, a terrible idea by Yetlin, leaving Wilson all by himself. Callum Wilson, surely enough, is gonna score here. And we're just waiting, and Farinez, out of nowhere, makes the save of the match. An incredible save, and it just shows you how much promise this keeper has. But then, 33 minutes later, Farinez to Milivojevic doesn't get the ball out soon enough, and Wilson, off the mistake, puts it in the back of the net. Later into the second half, though, Naya Kirby subbed on very late into this match, running away from Dan Gosling, has the chance to score. Of course you would do that. It's time to face Elton John. That's right, folks. Did you know that Watford FC is really just Elton John's soul? disguised as a football club? At least that's what the sun would probably tell me. Two minutes into the match, Crystal Palace with a chance here to attack. Zaha getting right past Ducore, past another defender, brings it to Camarasa who takes the shot, and it's easily saved by Ben Foster. Right before the end of the half though, Watford with a chance here, Pereira to Andre Gray to Ducore. Ducore takes the shot, and once again, a very good save by the keeper. Early into the second half now, Camarasa on the ball, sees Schloop making the run. He's gonna easily get past Olebaz, sees Max Meyer all by himself, takes the shot, and somehow Ben Foster got a hand to that. Another chance for Crystal Palace here, Max Meyer to Camarasa, finding Benteke, Benteke takes the shot, and once again, saved by the keeper. 73 minutes played, another chance for Crystal Palace here, Zaha drawing a bunch of players towards him, leaving Benteke all by himself, Benteke to score, Maybe I should have kept Connor Wickham. Next up, Brighton. Our well-known rivals way down south of us. And hopefully we can get that win against them. But let me just say, I, I cannot tell you how much I truly hated playing this match. And you'll see why. 31 minutes into the match, Crystal Palace with a chance here. Zaha running down the wing. He sees Ayu by himself. Now brings it to Townsend. Townsend with an easy chance to put it in the back of the net. Saved by the keeper. Saved by the keeper. Once again, another chance for Crystal Palace here. Yedlin to Max Meyer. Meyer with a lot of room to run. He cuts inside, leaving Dunk for dead. Takes the shot and another save by the keeper. 59 minutes played, Max Meyer back heel to Milivojevic, to MacArthur. MacArthur cuts inside, leaving no one around him, and he shoots it right in the keeper's hands. 78 minutes played, Schloop now on the ball. He's got a bunch of pace, leaves a defender for dead, brings it to Ayu, and once again, the keeper saves it. Right at the end of the match now, Max Meyer to Wilfred Zaha. Zaha to Milivojevic. Milivojevic sees Zaha all by himself. He takes the shot, it's blocked, and then he takes it again. And finally, after so many damn chances and so much frustration in one stupid f***ing match, we finally scored. So we still haven't lost a match in this episode, which is actually quite good. But next up, we face Newcastle, who have actually been pretty solid in recent time. So, who knows what happens here. Well, in the 28th minute, it was a very good start for us. Naya Kirby to Kuyate. Kuyate finding Ayu, who easily puts it right past the keeper, into the back of the net. And it's 1-0 to Crystal Palace. 87 minutes played now. Jack Kobach trying to find someone in the middle. No one there, but Richie recovers it. To Ki Sung Young. To Joe Linton. And Joe Linton finding the back of the net. And, sadly enough, we didn't get three points. It's one point, and... You know... I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with this though.